Good morning. Hey, everybody. How's everybody today? We got Hannah, we got Leo, we got Bella, we got, we got, we got Balu. Mm. Hello, Hannah. Hello, Bella. How are you today? I'm fine. Oh, you're in the garden again, I see. You got dirt all over your face and plants all over your hair. Oh, my God. What are you growing today? Good morning, Mrs. Carol. Good morning, Anna. Anna, you got to go over to Bella's house. She's having a hard time with the garden. She's got dirt all over her face. She's got plants in her hair. You got to help her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. no, you don't want no help. Oh, my God. Hmm. How's Balu today? Oh, I'm good. You're good, huh? Mr. Smiley. Mr. <laughs> Smiley. <laughs> That's what they always call me, too, Mr. Smiley, because I'm always smiling. Smiling is good. Yep. <laughs> All right. Bella's here. Hannah's here. This is our last class. Number nine. Next week. Test. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Were you here last week? I, I don't have you. I don't have you as. Oh, everybody is here. It was, was here. Yes, Last Balu, week. he was here last week. Last week, okay. I didn't check him off. Yeah, we're gonna have our test next week, so I'm gonna figure out which one, which one, which one, which one we're gonna do, because of course we'll have a reading part in our test, because this is interest six, and then we're gonna start seven. So I gotta prepare that book now too. You guys make me work a lot. Yeah. You guys make me work a lot. Oh. <laughs> Especially that Bella. She's always making me work hard. Oh. <laughs> always working hard. Unbelievable. <laughs> All right. So our last lesson today, it's a review lesson. But of course, we don't really do much review because we don't do grammar. But the reading that we have in the review is a letter that a girl sends to her friend who lives in another country. Do you know what we call that when you sometimes like I'll, I remember when I was uh, your age, well, not Balu's age, but like 11, 10, 11 or 12. Um, our school had like a little partnership with another school in France because they're French, of course. And I was French at that time. I was going to a French school. And what they did is they exchanged addresses from all the students in one of their classes with all the students in my class and they matched us up and we wrote letters back and forth to each other right we didn't have internet then um and i was talking to a girl i don't remember her name anymore and i wrote her a letter she wrote me a letter and we did this in school um about what it was like living there and what the schools were like and all this kind of stuff do you know what we call that no, no, because you guys don't have it anymore. Now we all use email. I'm sure there's still some groups that do it, especially with it's really good writing practice when you're young. And it's a great way to, uh, but we do it every day on the internet. Now we just <laughs> chat to people in all kinds of different rooms. Um, it's called pen pals. That's what they called them. Pen pals. And that's what it was. You would write to someone in a different country and, have a conversation like that. So this is what this is what I have for a reading today. It's um it's a pen pal letter. So I figured since today is just random, there's no real topic. Um, you know, it's not about a specific holiday or it's not about um a specific school. So the vocab is going to be random. Some words in here we had this term, just to make sure you guys know them. And yeah, that's that. So we'll do our vocab challenge, and then uh, you'll do some sentences again with uh, with Miss Lay. And then after the break, we'll read a little pen pal letter. Latvia. So it looks like someone from France and Russia, I think. Oh, no, America. America and maybe Russia. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see when we read it after. All right. So who else is missing here? Tony's not here yet. And, uh, and, uh, Mr. and Trevor, Tommy's up today. Yeah, this week he's busy. 
Oh, okay. So Peter's not here. I mean, Tony's not here and Peter's playing video games. <laughs> so let's get started. Are you ready for another vocab challenge? No. No, huh? Mm. Every time I ask the question, everybody always says, no, no. <laughs> but really, they love it. Hmm. All right. So what's this is the situation we have now. Bella is leading Hannah by one point. It's four to three. Balu has one win, right? Balu, yeah, Balu has one win. Um, Balu can't win the vocab challenge. And Hannah can't win the vocab challenge. Only Bella could win it. But if Hannah wins today, then at least she ties Bella and there'll be no winners this term. And we'll have to start all over again in interest seven. So let's see what happens today. Mm -hmm. And if Balu wins, you have a new friend. Bella, the farmer girl, is going to love you. <laughs> yeah, because you will help her win. <laughs> so it's like two against one today. Hannah, you're being tag teamed against. Two against one. And I can't help you. <laughs> Actually, no one can help you. You just have to win today. It's the only way. And that's kind of like life. <laughs> All right, so let's get started then. Our first word today is going to be just like a pen pal, right? You write to someone far, far away. What do we call that? Email. Email? No, this is before emails. Actually, had to write a letter. What would you call? Ooh, what's that? Distance. Distance. But what kind of distance from New York to Tokyo? Like a marathon. They could run like 40 kilometers. What do we call that? Right. Calling someone in another country. You're calling mm, distance. All right. It could be a phone call. You're calling. Mm. No. When I, again, Bella. No. I get what? Through. Through? I think you got some potatoes in your mouth because I don't understand what you're saying. No. <laughs> uh, the, the, they're running. Uh, Mm, distance run a marathon they're flying mm, across the country i'm calling my dad in eastern canada i'm calling mm, distance so easy it's not short it's beginning with what 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 uh, i don't know <laughs> computer border borders well border is just the line that divides Two countries, right? That's not really anything about distance. Do you know what the longest border in the world is? Yeah. Do you know what the longest border in the world is between what two countries? <laughs> it's the longest border in the world. Canada and the USA. <laughs> That's the biggest border in the world. It's a very common sense answer. Long distance phone call, long distance run, long distance flight. I say listen. Long distance. Long distance. Yeah. 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 Well, again, I, you know, I guess for you guys, it's not a common thing to say. But when I was growing up, it's a word that we used all. We use these words all the time because, again, there was no in, internet has kind of made this word disappear um, because, you know, I used to always have to call long distance when I wanted to talk to my family because we didn't have email and we didn't have Skype and we didn't have Facebook and all of this stuff is, you know, relatively new really. But for you guys, you guys have been born with it. So it would be strange for you guys to say, Oh, I got to call my mom or my uncle long distance. Now you just go on social media or face app or Zylo and, Long distance is the word I was looking for. Yep. Point for Trevor. Right, Bella? No. Oh, my God. You're the queen of no's. <laughs> no, no. Oh. Tokyo. Where's Tokyo? Japan. Japan. Where's Washington? Uh, U.S. U.S. 
What ocean is that plane flying over? Sky. What ocean? Uh, there are five oceans. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 wow. What ocean is he flying over? What's the ocean right here? Right next to Pacific. us. Pacific Ocean. Yeah, the biggest ocean in the world. And that's Alaska up there. And this is the Bering Strait. And then they're coming into Japan. And that's Russia up there. Hmm. Okay. Ottawa. I lived there before. That's Canada up here. Yep. <laughs> okay. All right. Peter, you're late. Did you have a fight? No. Were you buying me some pizza? Uh, not that. But yeah. So why are you late? I go to buy something, but not pizza. Not pizza, huh? Hmm. You buy a new car? No. Oh, okay. Long distance. Can you say that one, Peter? Long distance. Distance. Yeah. Baloo, long distance. Long distance. Yeah. Hanorama. Long distance. Oh, okay. Long distance. Tint. Bella. Long distance. Mm. Game show? A game show? What's the game? Cast. Cast? They are cast. Whoever is playing in the play, they are the cast, the people who who play oh, the characters. Okay. If you had this in school, what would the class be called? Mm. I think every school should have one of these programs where people can practice and do plays and learn how to act and be creative. Action. Well, action is a lot of things happening, right? Fast cars, guns, jumping, stunts, airplanes, explosions. This is not an action. Yeah. Some people. No, it is some people with a piano and a sofa too. Unbelievable. But if you wanted to be an actor, actress... You'd have to go to a special school. And if it was in your school, it would be mm, class. What would it be? It's also what we call like serious plays and serious um, TV shows or movies. It's not science fiction. It's not comedy. It's not horror. Play actor. Play actor. Mm. Starts with a D. Five. Four. Mm -hmm. Drama. 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 That's right. Drama. You got it, Hannah. Drama. drama. Yeah, drama. Mm. Uh, Pretty snazzy. Wow. Christmas. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Christmas. Mm. Festival. Something special. Something really, really nice. Really I almost gave you the word. <laughs> um, you know, this is a fine dining restaurant. It's very nice, very expensive. It's really mm. she's sparkly. wearing a what? 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 Hannah? Sparkly. 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 Yeah. Sparkling. Sparkling. It is. It is sparkling. The tree and the mall. Um, but this is about the setup. It's really mm. the restaurant is really mm. her dress is really. Mm. She's wearing a very mm, dress today. Sparkling. No, not sparkling. You're Fashion. sparkling. Baloo? Fashion. Fashion? Nah, how do you fashion a tree? Right? <laughs> Starts with an F. Yes. All right. Feel Fancy. a desire. Fancy. Mm? Spicy. Spicy. Fancy. Fancy is correct. A fancy dress, a fancy restaurant, a fancy decor, fancy tree with with even yeah. angels and all kinds of sparkling lights and really fancy. Fancy, fancy, fancy. Right, Peter? What? What do you mean what? Right or wrong? It's right. It's really fancy. Bella, do you have a fancy garden? No. No. Trevor has a fancy monkey. Trevor has a fancy monkey. 
<laughs> what? What the what the what? I never heard of a fancy monkey before in my life. I'm gonna call you a little Shakespeare making up new words in English. <laughs> Unbelievable. What about Hannah? What's me. fancy? What's fancy me. in your neighborhood? You're fancy. <laughs> me. Oh, all right. Do you have a fancy dress, Hannah? Me. B? Me? Me. Me, 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 me. All right. Let's go to the next one. That's an easy one. Okay. So this is kind of the opposite of being lazy. You have to be relating to the body, but meaning you're using force, you're using skill, you're, you're using energy. Oh. Some sports are very mm, demanding, hard on the body. Oh. Bicycle. Oh, again, Bella? Bicycle. A bicycle? Bicycle. <laughs> you, you got it right, Bella. That's exactly the word we're looking for, but it's not pronounced bicycle. It's pronounced physical. Fizz. Is, is, yeah. It's called physical. That's like when you, when you, when you see some athletes or well, athletes, yeah. Or you see some, um, well, yeah, athletes or, or bodybuilders or something, and you, you look at them and you know that they're they're very physically fit, right? They do exercise, they play sports, they're very healthy, right? You can you can see it, yeah. Physical. That's why they call it physical education, right? It's about your body yes. and to be physical. All right, Bella's on the board. Two on. Let's try saying that one, Balu. Physical. Physical. Peter? Physical. Hannah? Physical. Bella? Physical. Physical. Fitness. Yeah. Very important. Yeah. It's very important that you, be, you at least at one time become very physically fit when you're young. And I'll tell you why. Because from what I've read, that kids and young adults who do not get physically fit at least once in their life when they're young, the chances of them ever being physically fit when they get older is very, very, very little. And it changes the way your whole body develops. But those who do get physically fit when they're young, even if they get a little lazy a little later, it's a lot easier for them to get back into shape. That's what I read. I mean, I, I'm not a doctor. But uh, it makes a lot of sense to me. Some people you can see, even though they're older, you know, like me, 50 years old. And, but I, I still have a good physical shape, you know. And you see some other people that are 50 years old and, oh, my God, they look like they're ready to die. And they're so big and they're so unhealthy and their face is out here. And they, they have no chance of getting really fit again. You know, like they've kind of destroyed themselves in some ways. So my point is, try to be as active as possible. Don't let yourself be, what's the opposite of physically fit? Yeah. Don't let yourself, don't let yourself go. Don't, don't become weak or lazy at a young age. It'll really hurt you in the future. So that's my advice for today. So far, I'll probably have more advice later. <laughs> All right. So we talked about drama and actors. Where do they do their plays? Opera. No. Museum. I know. No, no, no. Museum. <laughs> Same. Theater. Same. Tame. Theme. Same. A stand. Ah, oh, 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 oh. Two, two, tie. Uh, stage, stand, stage. Yeah. They do perform on a stage. And Peter, you said opera, but opera is like one of the plays, right? It's one of the shows. So again, they do the opera in a theater, right? It's like that famous building you see in Sydney all the time. It's like a landmark with all the, the, like the shark fins on it. Um, it's the Sydney Opera House. But that's what the Sydney Opera House is. It's a really big, fancy theater. That's exactly what it is, a theater. And this, I don't know if this is a real theater or not, but it looks pretty fancy. It's probably real. That's big. 
all the balconies and everything too. And then the special, special, special seating over here. Yeah, more modern one here and the crowd. Yeah. So again, we got that. We just got to blow, right? We just blow and use our tongue to change the sound. <laughs> Theater. Let's try that, Bella. Theater. Theater. Good. Theater. Anna. Theater. 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 One more time. Theater. Theater. Yeah. Theater. You, just, you just blow, and as you're blowing, push your tongue out between your teeth. All right. Theater. 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 Balu? Theater. Theater. Good. Peter? Theater. Theater. Just blow and then move your tongue as you're blowing. Put your tongue right between your teeth. Just like a blow, yeah? Theater. Theater. But don't close your mouth. Theater. No, you're okay. If you do an S, it means your mouth is closed, your teeth are closed, and your tongue is behind your teeth, right? Because if I blow and I close my teeth and my tongue is behind, of course, or I bite my tongue, you're going to get S. S, S. But it's like the S, except you have to let your tongue go between your teeth and watch how it changes the sound. Try Peter. Cheater. See how this goes away, and then it's just. Cheater. Did everybody say that, H Hannah? Oh yeah, we already did. Okay, next. All Sweet. right. Yeah, a place of study or training for a special field. What's another word for a university, a college, or a school? Army. Mm, again, Hannah. Army. No. Army camp. Well. Where do people go to become soldiers? If you want to be a professional, you're going to go to a university, but you're going to study high level what? Starts with an A. Four syllables. Academy. Yeah, that's right. It's not academy. Yeah, um, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. It's oh, it is academy. I thought it was academic academy. Yeah, yeah. the school is called some schools are called academies. And now to tell you the truth, I'm really not sure what the heck the difference is between an academy and a university, for example. Let's see. In contrast, a university that provides many study programs of various sciences, academies only provide a study program, or one branch of science based on their academic name. Yeah. Academics only have vocational programs. Diploma level. So I guess an academy is something that, like a university, many people go and many people study different things. Mm. But what, what I understand, an academy, everybody at the academy is studying one thing. Police Academy, they're not there to study how to be a scientist. They're not there to study how to be an accountant or a businessman. A police academy, they're there to study one thing, how to be a police officer. Military academy, how to be a soldier. So it's very specific, an academy. One, one study subject. That's what yeah. the difference is. Yeah. Now we know. <laughs> All right. Where is this place? Yeah. Well, it's in the it's in Hollywood. That's right, Hannah. It's in the USA, and it's a uh, well. I guess you would call it a suburb of Los Angeles. So then, Balu had one point. Hannah now takes a three-two lead. Yeah, Hollywood, the center of the movie industry. And I think it's the northwest side of Los Angeles. Los Angeles is such a big city. There's like a whole bunch of municipalities or different cities. There's Anaheim and there's Hollywood and there's Beverly Hills. And there's a lot of places in there. I, I was there one night. I was just doing a flight transfer one, one time. But I've never had a chance to visit Ho Hollywood or Los Angeles. And if I didn't know someone, I wouldn't go visit Hollywood. Or I wouldn't go visit... Uh, 
Los Angeles anyway, because it's such a big place. I just get lost. <laughs> so I'd only go if, if I knew someone there. Let's try saying that one, Bella. Hollywood. It's a deep O, not Hollywood. Yeah, sorry. Again. Hollywood. Yeah, not holy, but Hollywood. Holly. Yeah. Just like biology. Hollywood. Hannah? Hollywood. 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 Wood. Yeah. Just Wood. like the, the tree. Wood. Baloo? Hollywood. Hollywood. Wood. 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 Peter? Hollywood. 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 Yeah. Oh. Hollywood. All right. Okay, so this one is about money, about how the world works. You can study this. About trade and import and export. Market. The value of money. How it affects money. A bad one. It can be a good one. Vietnam is in a, a really good situation right now. One of the fastest growing markets in Asia, from what I understand. What do we call all of that? Relating to money and trade and industry and exchange. Well, exchange is just part of the equation. That's part of the trade, right? I guess exchange would be part of trade. But overall, all of it. If you wanted Purchase. to study, what, Hannah? Purchase. Purchase. Matrix? Mm. Matrix? Mm, well, matrix is something different. Purchase. Oh, try again. Purchase. 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 Well, again, purchase is part of trade and money, right? Purchasing power. But that's all. that all depends on, on uh, uh, another thing, another factor, right? If you wanted to study foreign trade and industry and money and currency, what would you study in school? What program would you go into? Transaction. Transaction is, again, just the exchange of money. Or of currency, yeah, money or goods and goods and services. What is this subject? It's not agriculture. It's not fishing, fisheries, or forestry. Or business is part of it. Business is part, a big part of it. Understand the banking systems. Understand international trade and policies. Understand import and export and how it all works. Five. Four, three, two. Peter, you know. Employment. Mm. Oh. Uh, Hannah? Employment. Wow. Well, again, employment is part of this, right? A country with a really good mm, provides a lot of employment for its people. A country that has a bad mm, often are very poor, and many people don't have any employment. One. What did you say, Peter? Uh, exchange. Exchange. Now again, that's about money. Economy. Economy. You almost had it, Bella. The economy. economy the economy is what each country has. <laughs> what is the economy like in Vietnam, as opposed to China or Thailand? Yeah. Uh, but the overall, the 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 subject, the field. It's called economics. Ek, 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 economic. Balu. Economic. Ah, pretty good. Economic. Hannah? Economic. Economic factors that influence every country on the planet and everybody's money. That's the world of economics. Economics. Bella. Economics. All right. Yeah. I always say economics because just economic alone would be an adjective. But economics could be a noun. Okay? I'm studying economics. I have an economics test tomorrow. Yeah. Peter. Economic. 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 All right. Good job. Okay. So that was no point on that one. Still three, two, one. <laughs> Next one. All right. Now, this has a couple of meanings. 
It could be a large variety of things or it could be a large area. It could be a firing mm, for guns. It could be a golf driving mm, so that you can practice golfing. It could be a mountain. Mm. All right, two sets here too. A set of different things. Um, a set of different things of the same general type. Yeah, it could have a, a wide mm, of choice. But when we're talking about the area variation between uppers and lowers and, and the scale, how big something is, uh, again, it's, it's really big. So it's it's related to distance, but distance is not the word. Like when you see it, you see a mountain, but if you see a whole bunch of connecting mountains for a very long distance, a very long distance, we would call that a mountain what? The French Alps is part of a long string of mountains. So what do we call that? It's a mountain what? That's a beautiful picture, too. These people are living up here. Look at all the cars and the houses everywhere. Wow, that's absolutely beautiful. I wish we would have put the name of this place where it is. I'm guessing it's like Switzerland or something like that. But I don't know. Grasslands. Grasslands. Mm. Yeah. No. They're pretty high up. They're 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 right up at the tree line here. You can see where the trees stop growing, but there's no snow up here. So it's not too high. Well, this is a valley, but where they're playing golf, no. You know. Um, when you want to play video games now, you have so many to choose from. Like, what is it? That roadblocks? There's like a thousand different kinds of games. It has a large uh, of options. Starts, what is it, Peter? Oh, not me. Oh. So step. Step now. Starts with an R. Now, you know this. Range, range. A large range. That's right. That's why they call it like a farm, a rancher's range, too, where you have long grass fields so the animals can go and graze. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're called mountain range, a mountain range or mountain ranges, a firing range, a driving range. And range also means a large variety, many choices. Okay. Range. J, j, j. That's the DJ range, Peter. Range. J with a D. You go to the D first and then you do the J. Range. D, d, range. 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 Oh my God, that's grandma. I know grandma's voice. Ah, grandma, you want to join the English class? No, I'll see you, Dr. Wow. Hannah. Range. 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 J. You just got to remember, right? It's, it's almost like if you take the j off, it would be rained. Rained. It rained outside yesterday, right? Rained. But when we get to that D, we don't let it out. We switch to the j. Range. Range. It's like orange. Orange. Range. Exactly like orange. Bella? Bella, you froze like a cucumber. No. <laughs> Range. Range. Yeah. Balu, did you try already? Range. Okay, good job. All right. Someone who is at the top of their skill level could be a footballer. All the players in the World Cup today, these are mm, football players. He is a mm, famous. Well, they're not all famous. Maybe in their maybe in their hometowns. He's a mm, photographer. She's a mm, model. They are mm, businessmen, doctors, lawyers, football players. Bella. Partner. Well, no, it's not about partners. They may not even know each other. You know, like corporate. the photographer. Corporate is about the business structure. Corporation, yeah. I know. All right, relate. Oh, what, Balu? Train. Well, when you train something and you, you make it your career and you become one of the top in your field, you are considered a what? It's almost like, well, it's almost like an expert, but not quite as high as an expert. An expert is like, you know, like the top level. Yeah. And a 
amateur. That's what I was saying. If you're in the beginning, you're just starting and you're learning, you're an amateur. Right? Professional. Professional is the opposite. Professional. That is correct. <laughs> Balu, second point. Three, two, two. Bam! Peter, get on the board. Yeah. What for? What for? Because that's what the point of playing the game. No. Ugh. All right. Professional. Let's try saying that one. Pro fesh fesh fashion un, un, professional. Professional. Balu. Look at the phonics. Right? There's no O in, there's no O in here. There's no profess uh Shion O, right? Look at the phonics here. Prof prof profession un, un, no. Professional. Professional. Very good. Peter, professional. Professional. Very good. Bella? Professional. Pro professional, not professional. 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 Yeah, very good. Just a slight little twist on that order. Uh, Hannah, professional. Professional. Yeah, a lot of people say pro. And that's the short word, mm -hmm. right? We say a pro player, pro. He's a pro. pro. But when we say the full word, we, we again, many people will say professional, but pro, pro, profes professional. Uh, yeah. And as I always say, right, it's about being understood. Whether you say professional or professional, everybody understands what you're saying, so you don't have to worry about it. School. School. Yeah, that's right. Say it again. Who said it first? Baloo? Cool. School. 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 <laughs> Can anybody say it correctly? School is good. It's not school. <laughs> say it again, Bella. Oh. Oh. oh yeah. Cool. Uh, uh, like school. up, up, skull, yeah. skull. Skull. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Like, it's like if you were gonna say cup, right? Scup, and then you put an L. Scup. Skull, skull, skulls, skulls. Skull. Yeah. yeah. The skull is what makes up the shape of our head and protects our little brain. The skull, that's yeah. right. Three, three. Oh, got that. Oh, no. What did it? Yeah, three. Oh, Bella's only got two points. Okay. Skull. Yeah, skulls. Skulls. Peter, skulls. Scouch. Okay, Hannah. Scouch. 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 Why well, you got potatoes in your mouth or what? What you got in your mouth? You got a bunch of carrots in your mouth? Hmm. You got something in your mouth. <laughs> Baloo. Skulls. Skulls. Z skulls. Skulls. <laughs> Bella. Z skulls. Skull, oh, skull, skulls. I mean, when you say cup, you don't say cop, cop. You say cup, cup, Ska, skull, skull. Skulls, skulls. Skulls. Do you have a skull, Bella? No. You don't have one, huh? You're a rubber woman. Hannah, do you have a skull? Um, yes. Yeah, Peter, do you have a skull? Uh, No. No. Balu, how many skulls do you have? Only one. Only one? You don't collect them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Being part of a group, what would we call them? Or maybe you need to buy one to go to the gym. These are maybe mm, of like United Nations or something. Member. Or part members. Part of the wolf pack. Members. Holy meatballs. It is a one point lead for the Baloo. The big bear is starting to catch up. Hmm. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> Peter. Members. Oh, wow. Good job. I didn't have to. Ah. Hannah. Members. What are you eating? No. You're eating no? Did anybody ever try no before? Is it any good? Yeah. It's good? 
<laughs> no. No. No is not good. Okay. Yes, it's not good. Mm. <laughs> no, it's not good. Not yes, it's not good. No, it's not good. Yes. <laughs> Bella. Members. Members. Who else is left here? Balu? Members. Yeah. Are you a member of anything, Balu? Mm, yep. Yeah. You have a club at your school or something that you're a member of? Class group. What class is it? Class group. Oh, your class group. Member of your yeah. class. Okay. Well, you're all members of your classes because you're all students. <laughs> yeah. Any other memberships? Uh, Bella, are you a member of the Karate Kung Fu Dojo? <laughs> no. No? Uh, Hannah, are you a member of the world's heavyweight lifting organization? No. No. Mm. Peter, are you a member of the Banana Republic? <laughs> no. No. Are you a member of anything? No. Hannah, Bella, are you members of anything? Uh, motorcycle no. gang member? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's something too. I wish that there was a lot more organizations with memberships for for kids and teens to I was a member of the Boys and Girls Club when I was at your age. A lot of these social a lot of these things are disappearing and it's really sad because it really helps develop us. All right. I'd like to be a member of the Wolf Pack. Arr, arr, arr. <laughs> you want to join the Wolf Pack, Peter? Even they know how to organize a gang. <laughs> uh, wolves are amazing. Wolf. Dangerous, but amazing. Yeah. They're big. Those big gray wolves up in the north, in the Arctic areas. Oh, boy, they're big dogs. All right, so we talked about members now. It could also be members of a family, right? Your uncles and aunts. So what else could we call your uncles and aunts and cousins? Right? They're not your immediate family. They don't live with you. It's not mom and dad or your brother and sister. But these are your uncles and aunts, and one lives in Hanoi, one lives in Saigon, and the other one lives in married this family and lives in Da Nang. Um, so these are our what? Usually. Related. Yeah, that's on the board. Four, four, tie. Ooh, do, 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 do. Ah. What are you eating? You got fried chicken there? Mm -hmm. I think you're hiding fried chicken from us. I can smell <laughs> fried chicken. Bella, you got a good nose. Do you smell the fried chicken? <laughs> No. You don't smell it, huh? I smell fried chicken. Hmm. Hmm. Sneaky, sneaky. Relatives. Relatives. And I, relative. Rel. 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 Then go to the R. Uh, do the rel, right? Don't go rel. Rel. Relative. Relatives. Relatives. Yeah, roll it all together. Relatives. Hannah. Relatives. Relatives, Peter. Relatives. Reality. I'm going to give you a reality when I come see you after class. Relatives. <laughs> Peter, sometimes you make me want to go crazy. Oh. It's not reality. It's rel relatives. Relatives, Peter. Stop watching TV. No. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's not reality. It's rel relatives. I'm in the full scale. Relatives. Relatives. What is a relative, Peter? No. A relative is a no. So you got a relative that's a no, and Hannah's got a food that's a no. There's a lot of no's going around here, and all Bella says is no, 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 no. What the no? I don't know. No. What is a relative, Peter? I don't know. You do know. It's written right there in the definition. Look at the screen. God, Peter. It says right there, member of your family. 
your cousins, your uncles, uncle. those are all your relatives, everybody related to you from your mom's side and your dad's side. They're all your relatives. <sighs> Next. Oh, everybody say it. Yeah, Baloo, relatives. 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 Ah, oh, Bella Tivzarel. 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 Like Israel. <laughs> relatives. Relatives. And we're all rolls together. Relatives. Relatives. <laughs> Team? No. Win. Win. Oh, well, maybe. But it looks like they're mostly practicing now. I don't see any other swimmers with this guy. And I don't see anybody watching him. It looks like they're part. It looks like they're all practicing. But um, but again, remember we talked about people who are very physically fit. Uh, often you can see just by their muscles and the way they stand and the way they walk uh, that they're very fit. Um, but people who. I want to say that you don't have to be making a living at it. But, uh, well, um, you definitely call anybody who plays on teams or sports and all that kind of stuff. What are they? What do you call these people? They're very phys usually very physically fit. What does it say here? A, a person? Yeah, right. I mean, some people could just do it because they like it as a hobby, but they have a job that they enjoy. A person who is proficient in sports and other forms of physical exercise. So... What do you call a person who is in very good shape and very, very active, very physical? Mm. Healthy. That's true. That's true. But there are a lot of healthy people that are not very physical. What? Hmm? Starts with an A. We've had this word before, I think. A? Like, you know, who goes to all the Olympics? Starts with an A. Five, four, three. Yeah. yeah. You got it, Hannah. Say it again. Athlete. Right. You can call him an athlete or athletics. Athlete. Athlete. Yeah. We call them ath. Again, now we got to, right? We start with the ah, uh, and then we just blow. Ath. Ath. And then we go to the L again, or to an L. Athlete, athlete, athlete. Peter, athlete, athlete. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Athlete, athlete. Hannah, athlete. Very good. Yeah, ath. We kind of lose the voice here. It goes right out of us, and it comes into a th. And then we go right back to that voice with an L. Ath and it's easy because once we're at the th, and when you add the voice, all you got to do is push your tongue up. Athlete. <laughs> it seems it's easy when you know how to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's just practice. Athlete. Balu. Athlete. Very good. Ath. You let the voice leave you, right? To the th ass. And just let it roll off your tongue. Ass. ass. And then come back to the voice. Leet. Athlete. Athlete. Yeah. And uh, if you were in it, like in sports, sometimes they have a department. If you're in the sports programs. And they'll call it athletics department. Yeah. An athlete. Yeah. All right, Bella. <laughs> athlete. Athlete. Yeah, athletic, athletics, athlete. Good. Okay, so let's uh, let's let's create a scenario here. You want to buy a new bicycle, and your mom and dad said, "I got no money," and you think, "Oh, Trevor's rich." <laughs> I'll ask Trevor. Trevor, can I mm, some money to buy a bicycle? Okay, I'll lend you some money. So, what did you do? So if I lend you money, you have what money from me? Give. Give? No, I gave I'll you the money. Borrow. I, 
Borrow. 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 Yeah. Right? The bank gives you the money, but expects you to pay it back. Right? Someone lends you the money temporarily or the bicycle or the car or something, a book. You have to bring it back or it's expected. You're supposed to bring it back. But if you get something or take something from someone, not stealing, (laughs) but with the intentions of giving it back, then you are borrowing something, right? You borrow from people or you lend to. Borrow from, lend to. Okay? You borrow money from the bank and the bank lends you money. Got it! All right, so, Bella, I want to borrow your wheelbarrow. I want to borrow the wheelbarrow. <laughs> Barrel, not borrow. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. You borrow. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Joe Burrow is my favorite football player, American football. He's the quarterback for the Cincinnati Bengals. So he's my neighbor, and I want to borrow. You know what a wheelbarrow is? A wheelbarrow, you put the dirt or you put the bricks in it, you pick it up, and it's got a wheel on the front so you can push and carry heavy, heavy things at a construction site. What is it? What is it in Vietnamese? Seru. Okay. Everybody knows. I want to borrow your wheelbarrow tomorrow, Joe Borrow. <laughs> I want to borrow your wheelbarrow. Wheel barrel, like a barrel that you put stuff in. Yeah, barrel. Barrel. I want to borrow your wheelbarrow tomorrow, Joe. Burrow. Burrow. <laughs> Remember yeah. that. Remember that. And then when Miss Lay asks you, okay, make a sentence with borrow. And then you say this to her and ask her to say it. <laughs> Balu, I want to borrow a wheelbarrow tomorrow, Joe Burrow. I want to borrow your wheelbarrow tomorrow. Wee, wheel, 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 wheel on a bicycle. Wheel, 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 wheel barrel. Wheel, wheel barrel. Wheel barrel. Tomorrow, so borrow. All right, Peter. I want to borrow your wheelbarrow. Barrel, barrel, yeah, barrel. I always thought there was an L in there. Barrel tomorrow, Joe Burrow. I want to borrow your wheelbarrow. Barrel. Wheelbarrow tomorrow. Oh, no, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. It is an L. It is an L. Barrel. I'm wrong. Trevor, you're so bad. E L. Ah, I was wrong the whole time. I knew that looked. I knew that looked crazy. Barrel, like a barrel of wine, a barrel of oil, a wheel barrel. Oh, sorry, guys. Trevor, you silly boy. All right, try that again, Peter. I want to borrow your wheel barrel tomorrow, Joe Borrow. Burrow, I want burrow. to borrow your wheel barrel tomorrow, Joe. Joe Burrow. Burr, 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 Anna. I want to, I want to borrow. Bar, your, bore, bore, borrow, bar, borrow, borrow. I want to borrow your wheel barrow tomorrow, your burrow. Joe Burrow, Joe Burrow. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next one. Good job. I, I really want to start making more rhyming sentences like that, tongue twisters. It really helps us with our pronunciation. There's just another job to add to my list. <sighs> now, look at the definition. It's not newspaper. A piece of writing on a particular subject in a newspaper or a magazine or on the internet. What do you call those little stories? A 
Exactly. Article, and we have Article. a new leader. Hannah takes a one point lead. It is five, four, three. Bang. Art. Article, articles. Article, Balu. Articles. Articles. Yeah. Did you read the article in the paper today? Oh my God. Bella, articles. Articles. Peter, articles. Articles. I got to give you a razor, Peter. You got to shave that. My little sister, uh, my little cousin out there. Your little cousin is out there? Yeah. What's she doing? Uh, dancing and <laughs> dancing and singing. Well, that's good. It's healthy. No, it's so noisy. Oh, noisy. Tell her to learn her English. She refuses to learn English. That's terrible. She really needs to learn, too. Ah, Hannah. Articles. 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 Yeah. And again, you had that little V, yeah? So American, many, not all, but many Americans would you, would make it sound like a D. Articles. 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 Yeah, just so you know. You can say it both ways. Articles or articles. I try to say T when it's T, but sometimes some words I say it with a D. Depends. Again, the point is to be understood. Dancing. Well, that's... I, yeah. This, this slide did not quite come out the way we were supposed to. Maybe the words are probably attached. To um, to a to Loudly. a. Team. Well, okay. Well, you you're all right. This is dancing and parties and, but the picture on the top with the flashy colors here. This is kind of a style, right? It, it's kind of like a disco style. The word disco is supposed to be in here, and then of course over here the party is a. What kind of party is this? It's not a beach party. It's a monster party. What? Really? Halloween, yeah? Like a Halloween party. Yeah. Uh, and maybe sometimes I've seen parties where, you know, you have to wear Halloween, but some it's just any kind of costume. So it could be called a costume party. This is kind of like, a, I don't know what this would be, the 1930s, 1940s style of the way, the way they dress in the showgirls and the, yeah. So, we had this before. We had it in our Halloween class. And I think Halloween, didn't we do Halloween not too long ago? Day of the Dead. Yeah, we did. Day of the Dead and Halloween. And it was, the, it was telling us, it's a word that tells us what kind of party it's going to be. What is that word? I think Anna, or Hannah said the word earlier today when we were looking for uh, fancy or drama. It starts with a T. The mm of this party is Halloween. The mm of this show is, it could be like, we'll see what this is right there. Give a particular setting or ambiance to a venue or activity. The plot. A what? The plot. The plot. The plot. That's not what it is, but I'm not sure what you should type that word in the box for me so I, I can at least know what you were saying, but that's not what it is. Um, you know, it could even be the how they're setting up the movie, right? You know that it's in the future, you know, spaceships and everything, or or maybe it takes place in the um yeah, you know, like the 1920s, 1930s or something. Uh, it's in several of our lessons. And it's also where well, they call it theme parks too. Like, yeah, th 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 theme, theme park. Yeah, like sometimes they'll have like a dinosaur park. It's a theme park, or well, Walt Disney is a theme park, right? Cinderella and Mickey Mouse and all them. Theme park, yeah. Okay. Three words left. Really close. Really, 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 really close. Um, it's a, you know, it's a sport. It's an, it, it's not just activity to me is leisure mm. uh, to me, to me, activity is painting and drawing, uh, or even watching movies, things you like to do. What kind of activities you like to do on the weekend? Um, I certainly think that running and, and, uh, 
and even dancing and stuff. If you're in, if you're in competitions and there are winners and losers, I think it's a sport. But that's what I keep reading. I got to check on that. But I remember reading that, you know, they, they consider it activities, not sports, if there's no ball or puck or birdie, tennis rackets. But I see, I consider this a sport. Yeah. Ah, unbelievable. Rest of- I see it. Yeah, I, I rolled the mouse a little too fast and I popped out both. All right. It should have been easy. This is a bit of a review, too, because we already did sumo wrestlers, wrestling wrestler. Wrestler. Yeah, and this is a Olympic sport. So how can someone tell us that boxing or wrestling is not a sport? It has to be a sport. I don't know how you could call this an activity. Oh, oh, I had a nice activity this weekend. Oh, what'd you do? I went boxing. <laughs> you know, this seems kind of funny. Bless you. Oh, my God. Bella's having an attack. Did you get some dirt in your nose? <laughs> yeah, so here the T is silent. You can see in the phonics, right? And he, even the W, we don't say wrestler, right? So the W is silent. The T is silent. It's wrestler. Wrestler. Balu, wrestler. Wrestler. Yeah, wrestler, Peter. Wrestler. Bella. Achoo! Wrestler. Achoo! Wrestler. Wrestler. Hannah. Wrestler. Do you like wrestling, Hannah? Uh, No. You don't like wrestling? You don't wrestle with your little brother and little sisters? No. You could win. <laughs> oh. Peter, do you like wrestling? No. You don't like wrestling with your friends? No? No. You never wrestle with your friends. Oh, God. We were kids. We were wrestling against each other all the time. All the time. Always wrestling. Getting in trouble all the time, too. <laughs> But these guys are, this is like Olympic. These guys are really, really good. That's USA and the other guy is probably from another country too. He's actually bleeding. Maybe this is Olympics. Oh, it's two USA fighters. Okay. Bella, who do you wrestle with? You want to wrestle Balu? No. Why, you can smack down on him. <laughs> like, oh, boom. You're the pile driver. <laughs> <laughs> no? All right. Wrestler. Wrestling. Never ending. On and 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 on. Driver. What is it? Driver. That's right. We have a tie again. Baloo five. Hannah five. One word left. Oh my God. This is an interesting all down to one word. If, if Hannah gets the last word, there will be no vocab champion for interest six. It will be a tie. Anna and Bella. Hannah, not Anna. Hannah and Bella. But if Balu wins today or Peter gets this point, Bella will be back-to-back vocab champion. Hmm. Hmm. Oh no, that's not no Peter. No, that's not true. Because if Peter gets the point, Hannah and uh, Balu will each get a point because they're behind Bella. That's right. So it's up to you, Hannah. You get the point, you win it. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. One point seven five. One point five. One point two five. Yeah. 1.75. No. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Yeah, you do. Uh, for a reason. Yeah, that's right, Balu. Yeah. <laughs> like me in Vietnam. Yeah, I'm a. Foreigner! Uh, <laughs> Where did you go, Hannah? <laughs> you disappeared. I have to leave. 
You disappeared. <laughs> All right. Well, 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 what a what a what a what a what a crazy race. What a crazy race. All right. So Balu wins his his first like all out by himself his first 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 win no so, uh, no <laughs> <laughs> hello yeah balu won today but it means bella is vocab champion again and it means hannah's not going to enjoy her fried chicken tonight <laughs> <laughs> but very very close very tough good job hannah good job balu good job all right, so Peter's going first, and Bella's going second. Yeah, Hannah, Hannah's going third, and Balu's going last. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> you are all mislays now. See you after the break. All right, everybody. So only four of you today, and Peter first. So what's your example? Good long distance. It's a noun, but of course, the noun when you put uh, in front another noun, it can place as the like a, it. It can function as an adjective. So yeah, a long distance but call. Yeah. So Peter, what is the example with number one? Not not a long distance. What? What is the 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 subject? You have to speak in loud, loud and clear. Why you, why you long distance with me? Uh, what? Why? What? What is the verb? Here is just the noun. So what is the verb? I don't know. Peter, focus. Come on, long distance. If you want to say someone is far away from you, then you have to put the right words in there. Why are you going such a long distance away from me or something like that? You got to focus. Yeah, and long distance, it can be like a from where to where, right? It is a long distance from where to where. So you can make sentence like that. Oh, it's not, right? We always can make like at least three forms, positive, negative, or question. So do you think from where to where is a long distance or not a long distance? Or you want to ask a question? How long distance? You cannot ask something like that. How uh how long distance from Vietnam to USA? So you have to say that is it a long distance, right? Is it a long distance from Vietnam to USA? Yeah, not how how long is how long you cannot say how long distance. You don't have the question words like that, right? For example, or just a, a boy, right? A little boy just says, "How uh, is it a long distance from Vietnam to?" Um, Vietnam to America or USA, right? So it's a question, but it's yes, no question. This one, all right? Yeah. All right, Peter already. So Bella, number two, drummer. <laughs> um, do you act, act in drama school? Do you act in the drama school? Uh, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes. Yes, I do sometimes. Um, Hannah, number three, fancy. A lot of functions of this one. Now, verb, adjective. <laughs> fancy, mm. fancy. Look, that. That is the, that is the, that is the, that is a black car. And I so fancy it. Mm, I fancy it so much. Yeah. Look at that black like car. Luxurious car. I fancy it so much. Right. Okay. So use it as the verb. Back to the winner. <laughs> Winner's turn. Balu, physical. Yeah. It's a... It is. So, uh, is the important? Uh, no. Physical, physical number four, yeah. So, what's your example? I have to. Mm, is it necessary to young people? For young people to. Uh, 
to do physical exercise. Exercise, physical exercise, do physical activities, right? Physical exercise or physical activities. Think so. <laughs> Actually, for everybody, yeah, it's necessary for somebody to do something, right? So for young people, in your opinion, to do more um, physical activities or exercise. All right. So number five here, back to Peter, theater. Where is the theater in Da Nang? Hmm. Where is the theater? Right here in Da Nang. Where is the theater? That's right. This is good. You have a question. All right. So it's who? It's Bella. Bella's turn. Academy. Academy. It's a place like university. I don't want. I don't want study at academy. Mm. At that or the study at academy. Mm. I don't want to study at okay. that. That academy. Okay. Mm. That because maybe the other you want, but not this one. So specific. I think it's okay. Yeah, like I, I don't, I don't hear much like a good um comments or reviews about that academy so i don't want to join it all right i'll start it. um hannah the next one economic it's an adjective but you can use economy it's a noun it's okay too this one is an adjective do you know any holy good movies I think there are many famous movies made. Oh, I'm sorry, in Hollywood. Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, Hollywood. Yes. I know many good movies in Hollywood. Do you know any Hollywood movies? There are many. I think there are many famous movies made in Hollywood. Made, yeah, made, made in Hollywood. Yes, that is the center. So it's it's um big place for acting and film stars and all kind of different things like acting. All right, so it's Hollywood for some reason. Yeah, so now it's um it's Balu, Balu's turn and it's um economic, economic. I I, I find it. Mm, very important to how to know why economy economy mm. uh, to know about to know about economy yeah, yeah. Uh, um, to know to know about economic uh, policy yeah it's I think I think too finance finance Usually, like uh, just the students in finance university, and they learn about that. But you know what? Every day, actually, in our life, we really have to deal with money and finance, right? And this thing, we should, we should, uh, we should be taught at school about about this. I agree with you. Finance, economy, yeah, very important to know about. Hmm. All right, one, two more here. I don't, but it's back to Palu already. So back to, back to Peter, right? Number nine, range. Very, 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 you can have a mountain, mountain range, but you also have all kinds of different meanings of this word. Mm. That, not a range. What? I have a hard time to hear you. So just try to say it like a, I think really? that's not a range. I think it's not a range. Yeah. Mm. Maybe it's a, not a mountain range because the range is what is very, very general. Right? I think it's not a uh, maybe what a high mountain range, something like that. Yeah. The mountain range. Or maybe it's not the range that I want to study about. Yeah. Something more specific all right bella number 10 professional are you professional at work uh, <laughs> very good question 
you know good question when when someone said that is a good question is it a good question <laughs> it's sometimes it's good question it means it's hard right it's hard to answer they go oh it's a good question <laughs> a different good question um Bella already so hana number 11 cows it's not school it's cows or a cow I don't know why it's here. It must be in Halloween or something. Yeah, but today is the review, right? So that's why you see that a few words that you already learned. I will buy scout scout decorations for <laughs> Halloween okay. next year. Next year, I will buy this cow for decoration for Halloween next year. <laughs> yeah, so it just. Uh, back to Balu number twelve. Mm, member. Members, yeah. Mm. You have family members. You have a club members. Or have different members. What's your example? How many members in your family? Yeah, it's uh, actually in of course in spoken language you, you can say like that. But the right one. Especially like mm -hmm. when we try to practice, we say, "How many yeah. members are there in your family?" Oh, yeah. yeah. My original one, just five. <laughs> nice number. <laughs> mm. So now it's back to Peter. Still like about family, but relatives. Thirteen, Peter. I don't know my relatives. Look <laughs> like. <laughs> look like so i don't know um what right i don't know what my relative look like i right? look looks like, only one so looks like yeah for example you have to go to the to the airport right to um pick your relative up and then you say that oh i don't know what he looks like or my What my relative looks like, if only one. Okay, what look like? Um, that's Peter. So now Bella already today fast because no Tony. Athlete. Athlete. I'm not an athlete. <laughs> you are not an athlete. So who are you? <laughs> uh, I'm me. I am me. I am me. I am a student. Yeah, not an athlete yet. <laughs> All right, Hannah, the last one of this page. Borrow. I want to borrow some money to travel. <laughs> to Can you lend it to me? Yes, sure. Thank traveling. You. Uh, traveling is good. Then you can learn something. You can learn about the people. Learn about the country. Even just try their food. Right. And you get your life experience. Good. That's a good activity. I support that. <laughs> And uh, so, Balu number 16, article. I don't want to say my name in title of article. I don't want to see my name. Ah, I don't want to see my name in the article. Yeah. Okay, so you can give a nickname, right? You can give them the nickname. <laughs> All right. Good. Peter, number 17. So X for X of you. Tim. Can I go to? Can you go to the to team? Uh, theme park. Yeah. So theme park is like amusement park. So I say, do you like? Because that is about. Entertainment is about relaxation, so, so not like a can you can you go? Do you want to go? Right? Do you want to go to the theme park? Yeah, theme park same like amusement park. In the park, that children can play a few different uh, games and all kind of activities. Mm. All right, Bella number eighteen, wrestler. Uh, most. Wrestler are very grappling. Very 
struggling. Five sets in order to win. Like aggressive? <laughs> Very aggressive. Let me see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, it's kind of like there. It kind of like there. Uh, children to fight, especially to order to win something. Uh, same like a maybe aggressive, aggressive. Yeah. All right. Yes, of course they are trained to be like that. Um, the next one for Hannah, nineteen. Forever, <laughs> forever until it changes. <laughs> so, mm. <laughs> I will love you, and this love will last forever <laughs> until I change. <laughs> yeah, I mean, usually they to be safe. I said, I will love my family forever. <laughs> right? So it's safe. Yeah, forever. Balu, you will end this up with foreigner. Mm, yeah. Mm, like 20, number 20. Mm, the more I know, the more I want to talk with foreigners. Mm. The more English I know, right? The more I want to talk with foreigners to practice my English, right? That's what you mean, right? Yeah. Or I want to make friends with foreigners. Mm. Um. Yeah, so that is it uh, for <laughs> this part. You take a short break. All right, so like Mr. Chiara already said, take a short break. And after that, you get back to the reading. Yeah. And you can read about what's that? Pen, pal, pen, pal, pen, pal, friend, pen, friend. Yeah, maybe something's changed to you, but maybe you learn something from the text. Okay, so break time and goodbye from Miss Lee. Goodbye. Bye bye. Break time. Goodbye. Love. Yeah. If you ever notice a letter, um, often we'll start a letter, hi, Peter, or, you know, if it's someone that's special to you, especially parents to kids and stuff or, or things like that, you would say, dear. Dear Peter, blah, 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 blah. Here's my email. And if it's a, you know, if it's a really good friend or a relative or family or something like a relative family, same thing, then we would say love, like sending our love, right? Love, Lavinia. Love, Peter. Right? Like when I write my mom, I go, dear mom, blah, 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 blah. And at the end, with a couple of hearts and XOs, I say, love, Trevor. Right? It means sending your love. And that's very, very common in writing a letter, a personal letter, you know, informal letter. We're not talking about a business letter. You know, business would be to whom it may concern. Sincerely, Trevor, that, that's a different format. But this is just a, a letter amongst two friends. Yeah. All right. So there's, there's a good example of an informal level, a letter. And of course, a formal level letter is much different. We wouldn't use contractions either. Either you'll, we'll, um, we would say you you are not not you're not you know things like this but we'll learn that as we go and that's more about grammar of course mm -hmm. so yeah we finished our little review everybody did really well it was an exciting ending mm -hmm. um we got some practice in our reading of course as always and some articles and some prepositions yeah a bunch of little things for pe pen pal um any questions? No. No. Bella, you gonna go work in the garden again? No. It's not. It's not too. It's too late now. Uh, I don't have a garden. I, you, you have one on your head. No. <laughs> all right. So I'll review all the lessons again here uh, in the next couple of days, and then we'll send you an outline of the topics for the question part, part one, and the reading part for comprehension. We'll send that to you for our test. And then Miss Lay will contact you um, about our schedule because there's five in this class. Our class is next Monday. So we'll probably do three, maybe four, but probably three on Monday. And then either Sunday or Tuesday, we'll do one or two of you guys so we can get all the tests done. So 
Everybody have a great week at school. Have fun. Eat lots of fried chicken. <laughs> right. right, Hannah. Yeah. <laughs> Peter, go buy yourself a razor. Shave that thing off and shave those eyebrows. You need a razor. Oh. You 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 look like a Dracula. <laughs> no. Shakespeare oh, no. Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bella, go wash your face. Baloo, keep smiling. <laughs> Hannah, go get a haircut. <laughs> You look like a lion. You think you have a mane. <laughs> Hannah the lion. <laughs> All right. Good night, everybody. We'll see you. In, well, some of you will see in reading on the weekend. And uh, the rest we'll see next Monday on test day. Yep. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye. Good night. I can't blow my hair out of my face like you, Bella. Nothing moves. Ah! How rude. Mm.